repeatedly on News 3 what can be done to address crime here in Hampton Roads. Last night's shooting happened near an influential neighbor who is now promising to push for changes. News 3 reporter Brendan Ponton has the update. The shooting happened not far from Ballantyne Park and a state delegate actually lives on the street where the shooting happened and talked about it on Facebook. I am not surprised. <laughs> Let's just start there. State delegate Jackie Glass says she didn't get much sleep last night. A police officer was shot down the street from her house last night. She addressed what happened in a Facebook Live this morning. I walked out of my house to go get my water bottle from my car and I hear the police running up the street saying, I will shoot you, I will shoot you. The state legislator says she used to have a good working relationship with a community resource officer, but due to staffing challenges in the police department, that's been hindered. The police department is down more than 200 officers. But we don't have the resource to the capacity that we used to, and that's because folks are leaving the department, right? And that's not just Norfolk, like we know that. She says she's worked this summer with her staff to find ways to fight back against crime. We have been working behind the scenes to try to get money to put in the right places to be able to combat violence. And while last night's shooting once again putting violent crime back in the focus, property crime remains a big concern for many in the city. Crime mapping in the city shows in the past four weeks more than 170 cars were stolen and nearly 500 were broken into. You know, I don't know that any of us saw this coming on, on the tails of the pandemic. Um, and, and so clearly we've got to get that addressed and addressed immediately. And we're doing things now. On Wednesday, News 3 anchor Zach Dahlheimer sat down with city manager Chip Filer. Filer says the police department has made changes to address this uptick. We've enhanced our patrols. We're adding cameras. Uh, we're really getting out. We're, we're beefing up our investigative units to try and, and close more of these cases. And as what Delegate Glass calls a long summer comes to an end, city and state leaders are trying to find some solutions. In Norfolk, Brendan Ponton, News 3.